someday you'll find what you've been waiting for and realize the world needs all that cold and someday darling you will find that the stars at night are always aligned when you're staring up and the stars don't seem to mind and i'll say you feel all right Then why don't animals care about flies? I'll admit that it helps. And I'm just taking it a step further and saying it is the single most important reason why they have fur. To prevent flies. No, so they don't have to care about them. Felix, what do you think? I think fleas are more of a threat. Exactly. Warmth! Oh my god, fur keeps animals warm. Oh no, camels. Camels are already warm. The desert is cold at night. Freezing. Flies don't come out when it's night. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Have you guys seen Marcus? Wait, you didn't even make a point. He's late from his break. I'll let him know when he gets here. Yeah, tell him if it happens again. He's fired. No, no, tell him if it happens again, I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm gonna kick his ass anyway. The shop's not closed. Huh? He can't start taking this job as a joke. You think it's a joke? You think I'm a joke? Are you really asking? Uh, of course we don't, Felix. Hey guys, how you oh, doing? Oh, hey. Welcome back to your job. You know, I own you. I pay your rent. Well, yeah. What is that? Is that the reason you were late? Yes, it is. This is my very first edible leaf. It oh. says here on Wikipedia that it, it's not very nutritional, but it is edible nonetheless. Kind of a wilderness uh, rite to passage, sort of. Okay. Mmm. Mm. This rite of passage is so good. Maybe now I can go on a childish adventure in the wild, and you can try to keep... Oh, yeah, but it says right here, it's a learning curve sort of thing, so that, that, that makes sense, I guess. What the hell did you give him? It put poison out. <laughs> hey, rodeo girl. Put me on speaker. Um, okay. You are on speaker. I got the part. Oh, the part in the uh, horror flick? It's not a flick, okay, it's a film. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, that's great, Rodeo girl. Pretty soon you're gonna be able to call me, wait for it, Coyote. Coyote. It's pretty badass, right? Very badass, yes. This role is going to redefine my public image. My fan club is gonna throw a party. Oh, the one down in Bolivia? There's a branch in Topeka, Kansas, too. Next week, they're doing another midnight showing of Rodeo Girl the movie. And I'm going to announce some big news after the show. You're going to Kansas? News this big has to be delivered in person. Rodeo Girl, after your seven minutes are up in Rodeo Girl the movie, do you think your fans are still going to want to watch the rest? Did you know that Judy Dench won an Oscar for six minutes of screen time in Shakespeare in Love. So now you're comparing yourself to Judy Dench? I don't have to. In his wise and ambulant review of Rodeo Girl the movie, no less than Robert Ebert himself said that my destiny was, and I quote, perhaps the only thing to be thankful for. And he is hard to please. That is really something, Rodeo Girl. So, Rodeo Girl, have you done any research on coyotes? Oh, I totally know everything about coyotes. In fact, I'm going to start a Save the Coyotes website as a part of my new image. Why do they have fur? So that the fleas don't bug them. Exactly. Oh my god. No, that's not a bad idea. I should look into getting a fur coat. Coyote coat! So much for Save the Coyotes. You know, Rodeo Girl, you should train with me. Method acting. Access my inner coyote. I don't think that... Tomorrow, come here, coffee shop. Bring a bag of orange peels and a hatchet. Got it. A radio girl, guess what? What? Bye. Dude. How you doing, Felix? Go to hell! Oh, all 